228 going to keep you flat. Amen. Jesus, hold my hand. Amen. 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 As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. He sees me through the stinking land, it is a cry of Calvary.
Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to know that He is holy. Right. By that, I am holy. Amen. We're going to sing a song if you don't mind. No, I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to sing. Don't be seated. That's a good question. I said that's a good question. We don't know. We're going to find out. We'll all know. We're going to sing number 163. I'm going to try this in the spiral book. It's called One Day. And if y'all are surprised I'm up here, so am I. I found out this morning. So The Lord knows all things. and He takes care of us. And the I was praying all day I was going to get here on time. That's the way things are. You plan on doing something and everything else gets in the way. So, yeah. But, uh, thank the Lord everything worked out. We made it. That's right. Amen. I've done something I've never done before. I worked on a, I fixed an air conditioner and a necktie. I made a, I made it home in time to get ready for church and go to Richard Nana's and fix their air conditioner. So. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And make it here on time. Amen. Number 163, here goes. One day when heaven was filled with His praises, one day when sin was as black as could be, Jesus came forth to be born of a virgin, dwelt among men, my example is He. Living He loved me, dying He saved me, buried He carried my sins far away, rising He justified freely forever, one day He's coming, oh glorious day.
it's all stand we'll look in the scripture. Because he lives, I can live also. Right. Right. I mean, we're gonna look in the scripture, we'll look into first Corinthians chapter three. Just speak a little bit tonight and he'll just pray for me and just been doing some reading on some things and sister Gail came up the steps and told me I was gonna do a great job tonight. So I was like, thank the Lord, that makes you feel good. Amen. Let's just all bow our heads and we'll just pray and read our scripture tonight. Heavenly Father, we thank You for this opportunity to be in Your house tonight, Lord. Father, we just thank You for what You've done for us and what You've made us. Lord, realizing it's not us, but it's, it's what You've done for us. Lord, we can't do anything for ourselves, but it's, it takes You. And Lord Jesus, we stand here as examples of, of what Your grace and mercy can do to a person. And Lord Jesus, we just pray tonight You just come and speak to each heart and each life. Just help us get out of the way. Lord, just meet each need. Lord, for Sister Dale in the hospital tonight, Lord, we just pray you just come and touch her. And Lord, for each one that's not here, whatever the needs may be. Father, we know that correction begins in the house of God. And Lord Jesus, I need that more than anybody. Lord Jesus, just, Lord, as Brother Branham saw the vision of the bride, saying, get in line, stand in line, walk in line. Lord Jesus, that's our desire is to get in line with the word. Lord, as as the prophet was was speaking of in in the uniting time and sign, talking about the bride is uniting with the word. And what is she getting ready for? She's getting ready for the rapture. Yes. Lord Jesus, we see we don't have much time left, and we just pray that you'll just help us. Lord, just minister to each one in a special way. Come and anoint my lips to speak and ears to hear. Lord, we give you all the thanks, the honor and glory, and we believe it. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter three, verse one says, "And our brethren could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as in, unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk, and not with meat. For hitherto you were not able to bear it; neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal." For whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man? I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth but God that giveth the increase. Now he that watereth and he that he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For ye for we are laborers together with God, ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building, according to the grace of God which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereupon thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Right. Amen. May have you seats, Lord, add blessing to the reading of the word. And uh, just trying to figure out exactly how to just how the Lord would lead but uh, I just want to speak on uh, there from verse nine it says laborers together with God. Amen. And uh just been doing some been reading and uh if you if you you know you read the Brother Brown said that uh you know Corinthians was the book of corrections and right. yep. uh if you've done any reading in the in the book of Corinthians, uh you know they were an interesting bunch of, of people. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh I was I was thinking I was, I was reading some things and uh, reading some commentaries and different things, and uh, you know Paul must not have never had a dull moment with the Corinthians because they always had they always had some kind of issue going on, and there's all you know because uh, 
they was all they was all messed up with with something all the time, and he was all the time trying to straighten them out. And you know, and you know, the Ephesians was was the group that was able that he was able to bring a lot of a lot of things out of the Scripture and, and teach them and uh, show them a lot of great things. But the Corinthians, he was all the time trying to make straighten them out because they were all confused and right. and uh, the many different times. Even in this chapter three, you'll find out. You go back to uh, the first two chapters of the book. He goes back to this same thing, and he's uh, he's rebuking the Corinthians in the first two chapters for the same thing because he's speaking of them having uh, divisions among them. And uh, but you know, you look at these things and you say, "Boy, that was a, that was a, a tough crowd that uh, the Apostle Paul had to deal with." But you know, what struck me was. God allowed that to happen right. that you and I would have this word. Right. Right. Because you know what? We were in the same place because right. we were confused too. Right. And you know, because it came to us right. because we were in confusion too. Because if, if right. it hadn't been written in the scripture, and we you look at this group though, well, they're all confused. Well, we were all confused also. Right. And you know, because you look at it today and there's still a lot of people confused. Right. Exactly. We're still we're still trying to get over all our, all the confusion because that's the way the devil works is he works through your confusion right. because he wants you to be confused right, right. and but we, we see here that he's speaking of, of uh, being carnal and speaking of them being babes and just a, a few things you know uh, the Apostle Paul covers different things in, the, in this chapter one he talks about them being uh, babes and having needing right. uh, not having been able to take the right. strong meat, but right. still being on milk. Yep. And he said, are you are you carnal? You know, are you still carnal after all these things? And you, you see there's a few things he talks about. And the other one he talks about was that the bride, and the body is supposed to be working together right. in harmony. And he, you know, he sees that you see all these divisions. And, and then he goes back on and later on you see where he gets into it and he starts talking about a foundation because he said yeah. as a wise master builder he had laid a foundation and then when he gets on later into the temp the chapter after he speaks on laying a foundation he goes and starts speaking on he said you are the temple of God yeah. so he goes on because he after and we'll try to get into some of these things but I, I want to uh, speak on just see how the Lord leads it but uh, there's certain things in this chapter that really stand out to me right. and the first one is when he's speaking he said because the, he said you're you still on the milk right because he you know he goes back even in, in first in chapter one and you know he, he comes out and because he's speaking in, in chapter one he says in chapter one he says I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given to you by Jesus Christ and everything ye are enriched by him this is chapter 1 verse 4 that in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance and all and in, in all knowledge yep. even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you so that ye come behind or lack right. in no gift waiting for the coming of right. our Lord Jesus Christ right. who shall also confirm you unto the end that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ so he's speaking of what what they have in front of them because he said that he's given you these gifts that, that you might not like. But he, but he said, he said, but you're still carnal. He said, you've been given this great gift, but you're still carnal. And see, even when he comes into chapter 2, he's even still speaking of them, talking about them being in a carnal, again, a carnal condition. And, you know, he talks about in one part where he said he was glad that he didn't baptize, but just a few of them. Because, you know, he said, if you... Because people would think that he baptized in his own name. Right, right, right. And he said he was glad that he didn't have any baptism with any of them. Right. Because he didn't want to have anything because they were so confused. Right. And so he's speaking here. And uh, you know he's, he's speaking of that, uh, that a spiritual man, because they were supposed to be spiritual people, because they were supposed to be coming off the milk. Because even in Hebrews 5, Paul writing is speaking of, he said, those that are unskillful in the word of, of righteousness because they're still on the mill. Because they've not come to the place where they can discern. Right, right. And so, you know, that was the thing. That was that was Eve's, Eve's problem because Satan told Eve in the beginning, he said, you'll know good and evil. Right, the problem right. was she couldn't discern between good and evil. Right. And so that's what it is, is it takes the word because the scripture says, that, you know, there's a way that is right that a man right. think is right 
but that way is death. Right. So a lot of people can think, but it takes discernment to know what's right and what's right. wrong. Amen. Because right. if without discernment, you, you never get anywhere. Right. Because if without discernment, and you can't figure things out for yourself. Right. Because that's what has happened around the message with a lot of people is they tried to figure things out for themselves. Right. And you see that because it comes to naught, just as Gamaliel told them, told them when, when, about Paul and the Christians, you know, he said, leave it alone. Yep. Right. Yep. He said, leave it alone because he said, if it's of God, it'll come to pass right. because God will use it. Right. He said, if not, it'll come to naught. Right. And we see that what has happened to a lot of people is it's come to naught. Right. Because people, people have put their faith in, in something for so long, right. they've, right. they've wandered in this thing for so long, and it's become to naught. Right. They've come to nothing. Right. And then what, because, because now is the time of manifesting. Right. And, right. You know, because you walk around for so long, but now is the time it has to be manifested. Right. Because, you know, I have... And, you know, I just use myself because I, that's the only measuring stick I have. Right. right. It's, it's me. Right. Because I, I look, you know... Why, why is that what, that, I, that I've walked in the, the same way for so many years? But you know what? I see the, I, I've overcome it. Right. Because, you know, that, that's what, because it doesn't know what the devil tells you. It, it's not what right. comes before you. It's not those things. I am an overcomer. I know that I'm going to overcome these Amen. things. Right. Why? Because I know, why did God bring me to this place? Right. Amen. Right. Right. Why? Because He has a perfect work because He began a, a good work and He's going to finish it. Now, the problem is is Aaron Roberts gets in the way. Oh yeah, that's right. And i got a lot to get in the way. Amen. A lot more than the rest of it. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Just like Brother Dale said, take more rapture in faith me, for me than the rest of it. But that's but see, God has began a good work. But the thing is, is we've still got to hold on, right. and we've got to that's yield it. ourselves, that's it. because we we are the ones that are trying to work things out. Yep. And if we and we see it comes to naught. Right. But if we come to this place that we can see who we are, that's it. That's right. Amen. See, so we're coming. We've got to get off the milk. Come on, brother. Amen. Right. And good milk is good. Milk's wonderful. I haven't had supper tonight. I had a glass of milk, and it was good. Sure. And I'm ready to go get something to eat. When this, with me, this, I'm ready to go get something to eat. That's right. Because I can't live on just milk. Come on. I like cereal or a little milk. Bless you. Yeah. That's right. But see, it takes more than milk. But Paul was saying, he said, "There's strong meat." Right. There is there is greater understanding. Amen. That's right. But he said he said you're not able to bear it. Right. He said you've not been able to bear it. Right. Right. He said it's been before you. And, and see, he's speaking on. I'm trying to get to you to a place that you can see there's more in front of you because right. you've got to grow. Amen. Right. You've got to grow. It's time to grow. Right. And it, and if we can't stay in we can't stay in the same place forever. That's right. Because we've got to come. Because if we don't come to the place. And I understand that everybody's not going to come to the come to the place right. of a body change, but you know what? There's some people that are. Right, right, that's right. right. And some people that's are not going, and because some people are not going to come to that place because they're going to stand in their own way. Right, oh my, that's right, that's right, brother. Amen. Because there's going to be because it's not it's not that they, they, there's a lack from God; it's a lack from them. Right, exactly. Right. Because you know, Brother Brown was saying, you know, that's that's what caused it. I have the, you know, I have this quote here. You know, Brother Brown talking about uh, our misbehavior in, in Ephesians parallels Joshua. Yep. You know, it's a, it's an amazing. You, you think about it. He said, he said, your misbehavior of unconfessed sins yep. of you believers. He said, can cause this church right. to bitterly fail. That's right. Exactly. Amen. That's right, brother. Can you imagine that? That's one person. Right. Right. Can you and you, you think about Achan? Right. Yep. Right. Because of his own greed. Right. Yep. Because of his own selfish desire. Right. He had blood on his hands. Right. Right. Yeah. Sure did. Yeah, man. Because of his own selfish desire. And he thought, well, this won't matter. It's just a little bit. I wonder what it what it stood what it was like for his family to stand up there for every one of them to be killed. Right. Yeah. 
It wasn't just it just wasn't Achan that died. It was his whole family. They destroyed right. everything. That's right. Amen. That's right. You think you think about that? He said he said it's our misbehavior of unconfessed sins. Right. Amen. That that a church can barely fail. Right. Brother Ram said Brother Ram said that one person that we can stand in each other's way. Right. Amen. That we can be the one to stand in somebody's way of getting of them being healed. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's right. Mm. Yes, sir. Right. You know, I, I think about. Uh, I was reading. Uh, I believe the message is led by the Spirit, and you know, Brother Brandon was speaking of of the woman that uh, had committed adultery while her husband was gone, and you know, she almost got hit by the train and. And she was, you know, she was in such a, a nervous wreck. She was, you know, all tore up. And you know, Brother Brandon was talking about all the times that, you know, she'd been in all these different meetings and they poured oil all over. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. And they had prayed and prayed and prayed. But you know, Brother Brandon said that Satan has a legal right if, to stay right there. Right. Yeah. As long as there's unconfessed sin. Right. Right. He said, you can pour, you can pour oil on them by the gallons yeah. and pray all you want. He said. Satan still has a legal right to stay yeah, right, right there. Amen. And you know, Brother Brown said, he said, you know, I, he said, I was not going to pray for that thing to come off because he might have gotten in trouble. Yep, yeah. He said, I said, I'm not going to pray. He said, because I wanted to find out. He said, because right. she'd been to all these other ministers. Right. And she'd been to all these churches and everything that had, had been prayed over, and she never got any better. She just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Right. Yep. Until she came before Brother Brown, and then he saw in discernment what her problem was. Right, right. See, that was the thing because the Word is the discerner. Right. Right. And so that's the thing. is You, you stay around right long enough, you'll find out. Because He's going to discern what your problem right. is. That's right. That's right. And you know the thing is, is you can stay right there. And you can turn it down or you can accept it. Right. Right. Exactly. Because you have to, because it'll come out and you'll find out. But you'll, you'll burn your conscience. Right. You see your conscience from that. Yep. Amen. And people have done that. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. But you know, you come to that place, and you know, just because he'll, does, you know, he'll show you the things that are wrong in your life, what what you need to take care of. Right. The thing is, is you, but you hold on to that because you know I've seen things in my life say, like, why can't I get rid of that? You keep going through that battle, but there's a time appointed unto you for you to get victory over that. Amen. Yes, sir. Because if He's going to bring that out, He's going to show you what you need to overcome. Right. And guess what? There's a time of victory coming. Right. Right. You have to come to that place because He's obligated to. Amen. Right. Because I can't do it in myself. Nope. But if I give it to Him, He's obligated to over right. for Amen. me to overcome right. that. Yeah. Amen. Bless you. So we have to come to this place that we can overcome. Right. So going on here, Paul speaking as he's speaking of them being carnal and them uh, having these divisions, walking being carnal. And he says, "Who is uh, Paul? Who is a Paul?" Right. Because he says one one says I'm a Paul, one says I'm a right. Paul. And he says, who are they? Who is Paul? Right. Who is Apollos? Was you, was you saved by Paul? Was you saved by Apollos? Right. He said, no. He said, because what? He said, I planted Apollos water, but he said, God was the one that gave the increase. Right. He said, because see, we're all working, having to work together. Right. Because the bride is, is having is to work together. Because, you know, as Paul was speaking, he says, if... Uh, you know, the whole body can't be hearing. Nope. Or the whole body can't right. be smelling. Right. Because each one of them has, has their own part. And, but he says, but who is this one? And, and because he said, we are laborers together. Right. We are to labor together. So if, if God has a plan and a purpose to take place, then each one of us have to work together. Right. Because just as one can hinder... Just as you can stand in somebody's way, yeah. you're the very one right. that may be the one to help someone through. Right, right, right. 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 As I believe it was uh, 
you know, the lady, the brother I was telling the story about the, the lady that uh, had the, had the, I think she was rented a barn or something and had a meeting, and there was only one person, the preacher came in and preached, and only one person got saved. And it was D.L. Moody. Right. And you know, everybody was saying, oh, well, you know, that was, a, that was a, a pitiful meeting that they had. She spent all this money for a meeting. Right. But you know what? Thou from that one man. Right, right. You you look at what took place all around the world. What a, right. what a, an evangelist D. L. Moody was, right. and the and the work that he done. And some people say, well, that was just you know. You look at that, and they say, well, I didn't pay much dividends. But you know what? You can't you can't measure right. the dividends that came from that meeting right. eternally. Right. right. Why? Well, because of what he was able to do. Right. And so sometimes we look at things and we say, well, I don't. It don't it don't matter much. It matters more than you than you can imagine. Right. right. See, if we, if we could see it, as Brother Adam was speaking of in the church, he said, you know, you see the you know, angels are in in the building, right. and they're sitting on the pews and everything. You know, it's, it's sometimes we just overlook those things, or sometimes we don't ever consciously comprehend those things right. when we come to church that that we're sitting in the midst of. Right. Of an eternal God, right, right. you know, as as brother Dale was, uh, brother Dale was preaching on of uh, the Shekinah, uh, you know, he said, you know, when the word came in and, and everything came into its place, then the Shekinah glory came down into into the temple. You know, we don't realize, but the Shekinah glory, you know, we we don't comprehend, but that same Shekinah that came down in that temple is in you and I, right, because yeah. He came into each yeah, one of right. us. Yeah. Right, man. So guess what? When when, when right. he came down, and you know he was said well, he couldn't minister because he was in the midst, and it was Come so on. great. Do you know you carry that same one with you? Come on. And you came in tonight. Each one of us having our own lick of fire have come down, and the Shekinah glory is here. Right. Right. All right. Amen. But we just look and say, well, that's just this, you know, it's just Brother Aaron and Brother Wade and Brother Anderson. We just you know, it's just. Us, you know, same ones we see all the time, and we missed. Yeah, right. right. Who's here? Right, right. Amen. That's right. See, sometimes, we see, sometimes we don't see what it, what is taking place. Come on. We say, well, it's just brother down. He's just going to get up, and you know, we're just going to sing the same few songs, and he's going to get up. He's going to pass out quotes, and we're just going to read the underlying yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's going to make a few comments, and then yeah. we'll go home. And sometimes we fail to see what's what. what when he underlines things in the quotes, you know, sometimes you have to go back and read the whole thing because if you read right. the whole co the whole quote, right. the things that he has right. underlined just steps off the page right. Right. because right. you actually miss what's really the real emphasis of things, right. Right. what is being said right. if you're not reading the whole quote. Right, amen. But I mean, he's just trying because, you know, he don't have time to read everything. I mean, so I mean, he, you know, we all, I think everybody has been to school long enough to read, so I mean, we can do that on our own. Right. But I mean, if you see the things that is uh, that Brother Dale's given us, yeah. because if we see He's ordained of God to lead us through, yeah, and right. He's—I mean, right. he can't do much more than, than He does. Right, come on, Amen. The only other way would be yeah, supernaturally just open our heads and pour it in. Right. Sometimes, right. wish. <laughs> but see, as Brother Dale's been preaching on, see, you've got to come to that understanding. Right, that's right, man. You, because you have to have your understanding open. Right, man. Because you know, you you look at brother brother Brown, you know, and I was reading some of the uh, uh, I can't remember what message I was reading, but anyway, he was talking. About, you know, Sister Meaty, well, you know, he got up and the angel Lord was in the room, and you know, he's he's uh, dealing with different things that he was going to have to go do, and, and you know, Sister Meaty's trying to talk to him, and, and you know, he's in this other realm, and she's trying to talk to him about, you know, do you need, you want some breakfast or whatever? And the angel lords, and she said, well, I, I knew he's in the room because she, I could, you know, I could feel his presence. And you know, he's in this other realm, and he's thinking about all these things, and the Lord's showing him things, and she's trying to talk about feeding the kids and, and doing laundry and all these other things. And here's here's the angel Lord trying to talk to Brother Brown because he's going out to do things. And sometimes we miss those things because, you know, we say, well, that was just the prophet. No, he's come to do the same thing for you. Right, right. Right. Amen. Amen. Miss that. Brother Brown said that he said a child of God can come to such a place. Come on, brother. You can live in such a realm right. that the, the devil don't even know what to do with. Right. 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 Amen. Right. But we think, oh, well, well, that was for Brother Brown. That's for Brother David. Yeah. No, that's for the very weakest Christian. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes, sir. Amen. 
That's what, that, because that is the children's bread. That is, well, that is a that is a right. That is a because Amen. you're an heir, so that belongs to every heir of God. Amen. That's right. That you can come to that place. That, that you know, you you see how things go. Yeah, you're not going to live in a bed of roses. It's not going to be great all the time. But you know what? There's an overcoming. Because you can walk in a realm. See, Jesus, you, you read, Jesus walked in a realm of perfect faith. Right. Right. It didn't say he lived in a, in a realm of perfect life. No, that's right. There's no such thing as a perfect life in this world. No, exactly. Because Brother Brown was speaking of uh, in questions and answers. You know, he says. As long as you're in this life, you're going to be sticky and have a carnal nature that's going to bother you as long as you live. But the inside of you, you're born again. And when you're raised up, you're in the likeness of Christ and all the sin is gone from you. God, amen. That's right. Because you've been raised up to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So when you come to that place, you know what? You're still going to battle this old flesh. Why? Because you're still in this realm. And, he's, and Satan's still got a punch coming at you. But you know what? You've got to come to the place that you're that you've come to the place where you're recognizing that you're living and walking in heavenly places and not living in the realm of the world. Right. Right. Amen. right. Because you know, sometimes you, you get out on, on a on a job and everybody says, Well, you know, they call you and they tell you, my air conditioner's doing this, my air conditioner's doing that. It won't do this, it won't do that. And you know how you know how it is, you come out there and work on it? Yeah. Runs perfect. Runs <laughs> perfect. Can't find nothing wrong. Yeah. Well, I know it's messed up. And you go out there and start praying. Lord, what's wrong with this thing? Yeah. Sure. And I've and it's just sometimes it's just like being magnetized. And you can be drawn right in. Yeah. And find things that you don't see. Yeah. Sure. It's just like Brother Dunn talking about working on cars. You say, what is that? That's the Lord being mindful of us. Right. Yeah, that right. He can point yeah, things right. out to us. Right. See, we think we think that well, that's just simple things. I thank God for the simple things. Well, amen. Yes, sir. That's what I look for when, when I can yes. when amen. I can go out to, and pray and say, Lord, you know, help me with this and help me with that. And I know it was Him right. yes, that takes care of these right. things because I because Glory. you can't find things, but He can point them out to you. Glory. He amen. can show you what's wrong. Right. Amen. He can give you the answer. Right. That's right. See, that's that's so simple. But see, that's where that's where we miss it because. We think, well, we're not. It's, it's not. It's not something great. Yeah, it's not something sure. big. Yeah. See, that's the reason that we don't see the big things, because we miss God in the little right, things. Right, 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 right. Because if, if you come to a place where you can see God in the little things, yeah. you start walking. He'll start showing you things. Right, right, right. Then He can draw you into big things. Yeah, right, he right. can show you greater things. Right. But if you're not faithful in the little things, he said the foxes, the little foxes spoil the vines. He said, so if you're not seeing him move in the little things, see, he said, everybody praises God for the future. Yeah. What, what he's going to do then. What he's done in the past. Right. But they miss him right now. Right. How is he working in, right. in the midst? He's right. working in the little things. Right. Right. The things that you that you miss and that we overlook. See, that's where God's at. Right. 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 That's the reason I pray God help me out when I come to church. Don't let me just come to church. Don't let me just listen yeah. to right. be listening. Come on. But Lord, show me what I need. Right. What, what is it? What is it that, that you want me to hear? Yeah, it right. is, and you know, it doesn't matter who is preaching, or right. who, you know, because right. it's it's what it's what the Lord wants to show you. Right. Right. Amen. 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 That's right, brother. I can't remember who it was. And, uh, they were talking about. Uh, <coughs> my remember Keith Brown when he was here, talking about there was two top two top singers that made him want to sing. 
good ones and bad ones. <laughs> you know, you, you look at some people, and you know, some of the, some of the things that God has showed me in the Word has been some of the greatest messages and some of the worst messages. Mm, yeah, right. Oh yeah. Because you know what? It takes somebody that preaches something that's wrong. Right. Come on, Amen. Because when something when something is preached that's wrong, Come on. when you hear something that's off, right you and then you sit there and you and you, you know, I've had things that's like, what? <laughs> Did he really say that? And then you got to go back and you got to think about it. Right. Amen. Some just didn't sit right. And you're right. trying to figure out. And there's been times I'm like, you know, Lord, I don't, you know, because it takes a while. But something caught you, you know, you catch that. Right. And sometimes it takes a right. while before that becomes clear to you. Right. And sometimes things just pop off the page at right. you. You'll catch Amen. things. Right. And right. somebody's preaching things, and you'll see things open right up. And you'll say, well, that's that's just, thus saith the Lord. You can see that just true, just clear as, uh, as a bell. It's just perfect. Yeah. But see, it takes those things because when it comes down, you'll catch those things right. because He's trying to show you things. Because some people, they just... Yeah. They, don't, they don't catch them. Right. Because some people, as we said, some people don't have any discernment. They just swallow anything. Right. Mm. Yeah, man. That's right. Mm. Yes, sir. They're not catching what God has to right. say. Right. Because they say, well, Brother Brown, you know, God sent a prophet to Brother Brown. Mm. Mm. Just as Brother Dale was speaking of speaking of a prophet. You know, if he takes you to another God. Right. Come on, brother. Doesn't matter what he does, you gotta watch what he says. That's right. That's right. That's See right. if it lines up. Right. You know, that's one thing about the Apostle Paul. You know, the Apostle Paul, when he came and started preaching, you know, he went back to the back to the Old Testament and right. started bringing right. up whatever right. what the Old Testament had to say right. to right. show you Christ. Right. Amen. Why? Because he said Christ laid all the way through the Old Testament. Come on, right. Everything that everything that was in the Old Testament taught Christ. Right. See, we we and say like I said, if you don't see Christ in every verse, yeah. Yeah. go back and look. Right. Yeah. Amen. And what did Brother Brown do? He come back and said, I preach the same thing Paul preached. Right. Exactly. You know, many times, and I started looking this up trying to figure out, see different things. You know, Brother Brown, that's one of the things he always done because he's out of my typologist. Right. Nope. You know, you know, and that's where he'd always go back to the Old Testament and pick things up, and he would bring things from the Old Testament and bring things right in, and he would show you the same thing that Paul preached, right. because the Old Testament had. Yep. So that's one of the things that stands out about marriage and divorce. He said, Paul, Moses gave a grace. Right. Yep. Yeah, it blew my mind. Yep. Mm. He said Moses gave a grace. Yep. Paul gave a right. grace. And then he had a grace to give yeah, right. because it was thus saith the Lord. Yeah, Here right. he was bringing all the way through the Scripture. That's right. See, the people think he added something or he changed something. No, he laid in the Scripture the whole time. Yeah, right. But it took, but it took a prophet, a one, a seer, someone that could look into the Scripture right. and see these things yeah, right. because God had to come and show it. Right. Right. And it's, it's laid in the Scripture all right. all this time. Yeah, right. right. And yet, yet we miss it. Yeah, man. That's right. That's right. See, we can, but we have, we have been given, given the eyesight. Yeah, man. But you've got to use it. Right. That's right. See, we've got to come to a place that we're using this eyesight. Right. See, we're we're, we're a blessed people. Yeah, right. Right. We are so blessed that God, what God has given us. Yeah, right. Right. Because you, know, you, you think all the way through time. People have, people have desired to look at what and see what we have seen right. and what we have heard because it has been laid before us. Amen. Right. And see, Paul continuing on here, speaking of, of these things, see, we, we have had a, a, a ministry because, as it, continuing on in the Scripture here, he, there's a foundation that's been laid. Yeah. He said, he said, with a foundation, he says, a wise master builder. He laid a foundation. Right. And then he goes on and speaks, and he says, let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Right. Right. See, there's been, there's been a foundation laid for us. Yeah, 
And see, it's been, and, then, and we've got to come back to that same foundation. Sorry. Because there's only one foundation, and that's Christ. Because he said, he said, because upon this rock, I'll build my church. Amen. And anybody that's in that church has got to go back to that same rock, that that's same right. foundation to build upon. Right. Yes, sir. And then here in the Scripture, we're continuing on in chapter 3. He says, verse 12 says, Now if any man build upon this foundation, right. gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, stubble, yep. he said, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work Amen. of what sort it is. Amen. That's right. Amen. See, if you look at in some of these things that, that Paul speaks of here, excuse me, because he talks about hay, wood, or stubble. You know, they're all consumed by fire. Right. That's right. Amen. But the first two, you know, gold and silver, see, they can be refined by right. fire. Right. Amen. That's right. So you hear he's talking about these things. He said because if you put the because that's what you want to do with gold, you want to put it in the fire because it because it becomes greater because you're able to get all the impurity, all the dross and everything out of it. But he said every man's work shall be made manifest. So you've got to come back to that foundation because whatever is built upon that foundation will be made manifest. Amen. And you've got to come back to that. And every man has to come back and build on what he said. Right. Right. Because, you know, the Apostle Paul said, even if I come back and preach something yep, different right. than what I've already preached, right. he said, let me be a curse. Right. Because I've got to build on my own foundation. Right. Right. Because, you know, he said, he said, it, he said, follow me as I follow Christ. Because it wasn't, it wasn't Paul preaching a message, because right. it wasn't right. Paul laying the foundation, but it was Christ laying the foundation through Paul. Right. And so right. when right. Paul was laying upon it, see, he realized this foundation came through God, so everybody has to come back to this same foundation. Yep. Right. See, that's the reason that a lot of people, as Brother Ann said, why a lot of people, why there's not a lot of new, genuine new births yep. is because people aren't coming back to the same foundation. Right. Right. Because we're not coming back to what, what Paul preached. Right. Right. Because they, they just allow anything to happen. And even in when Brother Brennan came back and, and, and preached the new birth and came back to exactly what Paul said it was, right. And brought it out of the scripture to understand what the new birth was, and then they turn around and say, Well, Brother Branham didn't preach the new birth. Yeah. yeah. Right. Brother Branham preached something different. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. And every single time, and you know, you, you look at, uh, was it Future Home? He covers the same thing in birth pains. Right. right. <clears throat> yep. So you, you, you think about it. Uh, now, I think there was one other place I was reading where Brother Ram was, uh, was speaking on the same thing. So, you know, everybody says, well, after the sales, he, he preached something different. But there, but there, there was, he said in the mouth of two or three witnesses, there's two different places where he preached exactly, right, right. exactly what he preached the whole time. And even in, uh, future, I believe, Future Home, he actually said, you know, I've always preached wow, this. Amen. So, I mean, just by, based on what he said, he, he understood what he was talking about. The problem is, is people don't see. Right, right. Amen. They are in a state of confusion. But see, we come back and we have to build on that same foundation. Right. Because Brother Brown come back, you know, he said we had to come back and preach everything that Paul preached. Yep. And it started with a new birth, but it was a continuation of opening of the Word to come back to the same right. place that yeah. he had preached. Yep. Right. That we can build on that, that we can, that Brother Brown could come and bring his message. Right. That's right. So it had to come back to the beginning. And so... We see that he says, if every man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. He said, Know you not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Right. right. See, if, if we if we realize who we are, mm -hmm. we have we have one promise. On. We have a we have a promise, we have a guarantee. Right. He said, How be it when the he, the spirit of truth, has come? That's it. And not just come, but come. Yeah. Right. 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 See, it's not, it's not that, that He just come down, but that He has to come down in you. Right. Amen. Right. That's right. See, it becomes an indwelling. Right. Then He said, He shall lead you and guide you in all truth. Right. Yeah. That's right. See, it has, to, it has to become that indwelling right. so that He can lead you, guide you all things. Exactly. Because He said, Know you not that you are the temple of God. Right. Yeah. Right. And not just not just we are the temple of God, but we are the temple of God as a body of Christ. We are we are in we are the temple Amen. of God right. because it's all collectively together. Right. Right. Amen. Because we all work together. 
We all come into, into this body as one. So we make up the temple of God. Amen. And that's what he's talking about. He continues on speaking of coming into this place where he said, If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Amen. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Yes, Lord. That's right. See, when people speak of that, see, it goes back to what I was speaking of earlier. It goes back to the unconfessed sin. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what makes the ministry so important. Amen. Because and I can't remember who it was, but somebody was, was preaching and they were and they were talking about uh, you know, why do why do pastors let things go on in the church? We see things and you know, why don't why don't you just jump up there and just pound that thing? Right. Yeah. You know, and it's like, well maybe he's waiting on the Lord. You know, it's just like Brother Branham, you know, in questions and answers, talking to, talking on marriage and divorce. And, you know, he waited until the time that he was given a commission to do that. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Yes, sir. See, because, because you know, he said he'd tear all the churches apart. Yeah. You know, I mean, he he knew what was laid in the Scripture, but he had to come to a time that he could that right. he could preach that. Right. Yes, sir. And it's, not, and it's not that it's not seen in the church, but maybe maybe they have to wait for a time that they that things have to come into place right. yeah. that something can be said Amen. or something you know that, that things will come into place then it's not that it's not that the, you know the pastor comes to the yeah. pulpit and right see because I'm not in that position and I thank God I'm not in that position That's right. But he is, and he has, and he has, and Brother Dale has to come to that place. He has to figure out what God wants him to do. Exactly. Because the worst, the worst mistake that Brother Dale could do is get up here and try to do things in his own self. Exactly. Amen. Amen. And if and, and without without having having the because God wants us to come to a place that we have wisdom. Right. Yeah. And that's one of the things you've got to wait on Him for that He can give you that. Right. Amen. To give you the answer, because it all has to kind of work together into this in the the plan. So we wonder, I confess sin. See, he said he said you can, you make a whole a church you barely fail. Yeah, yeah. All the things that you can do that you can hinder somebody. Amen. See, and we, uh, just like just like that that man that was the the preacher. You know, uh, Brother Ram was talking about, you know, just hung it up, walked away. Yeah, right. Say, if I love the Lord, I'd preach. But I don't. Tore up his card and threw it in the trash, he's done. Yeah. Finished. Right. Brother Bram said the, the one true sign that, that showed that he was of God, exactly. that he was a son of God, right. was that God took him. Exactly. Wouldn't allow, wouldn't allow him to act that way. Right, right. And see, if we're going to, if we're going to have unconfessed sin and and what I was going to say earlier if you if you go into a church and unconfessed sin it's a long it sits there forever just years and years and years just things just sit you you watch it I, I've, I've seen it happen too many times right. to, to, to not to know it yes, sir. that you watch you watch churches and if a if a pastor would turn a blind eye to sin yeah. in a church I said, you wait and see. He'll start preaching false doctrine. Right, right. right. That false because you wait, you let devil, the devil have a strong, you know, right. a foothold anywhere. Next thing you know, you're you're washed away. Right. right. Because you give him a little bit, and he'll take a mile. Right. Amen. Right. Yes, sir. That's reason. That's reason the the scripture tells us to abstain from all appearance of evil. Right. Right. You get. You can't even have the appearance of it. If it looks bad, even if it's not bad, if it looks bad, don't have it. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Exactly. Amen. We are the temple of God. Amen. And so we know we have to know how to act exactly. in front of each other. Amen. And in front of the world. Right. That's it. It's not it's not just how we act at church around right. believers. Right. It's how we act in front of the world. Amen. Right. 
You know, there's a lot of people in the world that they they never handed out a message book. They've never quoted a scripture. They, they've never said anything. But their life is their sermon. Right, yeah. Their right. life is their testimony. That's right. The life that they live. Yep. Yeah. And I believe it was Brother Biscoe was the one that was, was speaking of how his how his father came to be saved was a was a was a lady, and I think it was two two girls. Her two daughters were there. And you know, he saw the life that that woman lived. You know, Brother Branham said, "Just be salty." That's right. That's it. And brother, and I believe it's Brother Biscoe's dad, and he was so moved by that woman, by the life that she lived, Amen. and those two kids, that he came to her and said, "How do I be saved?" Right. Amen. Amen. Because he was so moved by her testimony, right. and it wasn't that she was out trying to preach the gospel. Right. She lived it. Amen. And that's what that's what's more important is to live is to live the life. Yes, Lord. Amen. That's right. Is that that we can if we can die daily and let him live through us. That's right. That if he if he's the one living the life, then everybody ought to see Amen. Jesus Christ. That's right. Yes, it's not it's not that we have to get up and, and preach it. It ought to be lived. Amen. That's right. That's right. That was for I said. That, that's that's my whole desire, right. is that people can see Jesus Christ in me. Right. I don't want to. I don't want to be one that brother Dale has to beat on, has to step on my toes. Right. I want to be the one right. that the Holy Ghost. Right. Amen. <coughs> because if the Holy Ghost is is dwelling in me. That I want to be so yielded to Him that I can line up, and I don't have to be told. Because you know that that is a growth development. Amen. That because I was preaching one time and there's a little boy sitting with his mom, and I said, you know, there comes a time in your life. I said, when you get big enough, when you got a runny nose. You can wipe your own nose. Yeah, right. You don't need somebody to wipe it for you. Right. Yeah. And that mama turned that little boy anyway. <laughs> so obviously he would, you know, he got to the point where his mom was trying to tell him the same thing. He was old enough to wipe his own nose. Uh, right. And sometimes that's the way it is. You know, we get, we got, as they say, it's time to put on our big boy pants. That's right. Right. That's right. You know, we've got, we've got to grow up. Yeah. We've got, we've got to come to the place that. If if he's dwelling inside of us, then he's going to bring us to that place. Yeah, right. that, but we've got to come to that place. Right. Right. We need we need that. We don't need to be waiting any longer because we never know That's how right. much longer we're going to be here. Right. 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 That's true. Yes, sir. Because I, that's what I, I that's what I'm looking for. I'm I'm looking to get out of here. Yeah, because if you see the condition in the world today, that's right. You know. How many people would believe that, that we'd be in the the world be in the condition that it is in today? Right. Come on, amen. You know, how many how many you, know, you go back and look and see the see the founder the founders of, of this nation that we that we love so much? I thank God I'm American. Amen. Right. Amen. Yes, sir. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. That's right. 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 I've only been in two other countries. I've been in Jamaica and I've been in Mexico. And I thank God when I cross back into the United yeah, States. Yeah, right. <laughs> I went, you know, because you know, the if I didn't know where the international border was between the United States and Mexico, I'd have never known I was in Mexico. Cause long time before I got there, I was me and a few other folks. We were the only white folks around, yeah, yeah. and we found out that we didn't because everybody else was speaking Spanish, and I didn't have no idea where I was at. Because I, I, I asked somebody, I said, "We crossed the border yet?" It's like no, you know when you cross the border. Yeah, 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 because there's a lot of folks down there in uniforms with guns standing on the line. Yeah, right. And over there with dogs and stuff checking cars going back and forth. You know when you reach the when you're at the international border. 
And when I was so glad, I mean, it's nice to go and visit, but I couldn't right. wait to get back across. That's right. Yeah. Amen. When I come back from Jamaica, that lady asked me, said, you got anything to declare? I said, I declare I'm an American. I'm glad to be here. I love Jamaica, but I wouldn't want to live there. I love Brother Keith and all of them over there, but I tell you what, I like being here. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. I was so glad to be home. Yeah. I just like to have some more of that Jamaican food every now and then. Yeah. Come across. Right. Amen. Or go over there and eat a while. Yeah. But I'm, but I'm so glad that God has given me. But who would believe? Right. You think right. anybody? Come on. Yep. And I, you know, when you, you go to Washington and they've spent, and I, I'm going to stop here a little bit. You go to Washington, we've spent millions of dollars and we've had these great monuments built by these great men. And we have these great big pieces of marble and we have etched the words on there. Yeah. You think about that. A five dollar bill, we got Abraham Lincoln. Right. And the reason I like Abraham Lincoln because that's my birthday. We share the same birthday, February 12th. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, I have lots of books on him. He's, he's always been one of my heroes. But you, you think about all the things that Abraham Lincoln said. They got marble. Big piece of marble. All kind of stuff. Etched, right. Everything etched. Books, 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 books. People go to college and the only thing they do their entire life, they're a Lincoln historian. They study everything that Abraham Lincoln ever said, every place he ever been, everything he ever done, every every medical condition the man ever had. Yeah. They know it all. Yeah. And he wrote these words. You can't make the poor rich of making the rich poor. Come on. Yeah. And you can't help them by taking away from the poor. Yeah, right. And that's paraphrasing, but you know what I'm talking about. Right, right. And he wrote all these things. You can't strengthen the weak by weakening the strong. Mm -hmm. Come on. And he also wrote, A house divided against itself can't stand. Right. right. And all these great words Abraham Lincoln said. But my favorite, my favorite one is this, and it's a paraphrase, but you can look it up. And he said, after I he said, after this is over with, and I've laid down the reins of power. He said, if I don't have one, another friend left in this world, he said, I have one, and he's in me. Amen. Right. Right. I tell you what, that speaks volumes. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But you look at Abraham Lincoln. We have all these great things that Abraham Lincoln says. Now, I want you to look up here. We spend money. We've got to preserve all things. Yeah. Everything Abraham Lincoln did. President Lincoln, he was wonderful, wonderful. Yet, he gave us in his own words right. the principles to live by right and you know what trample underfoot yeah. right we could care less what he had to say amen because right. you know what we're going to live how we want to come on yeah. and you look at you look at things george washington you think you think of a great man of george washington got a great monument up there right. yeah. you know he could have been king that's right yeah. When he had, when he was, when he was a con, when he was the general of the Continental Army, every man that served under him, they said he loved him him so much they'd have died for him. Yeah. And all he had to say was, you know what? I'm gonna become a monarch. Yeah. Mm. I'm taking over, and I'm gonna be the leader. Do you know what? Who would have stopped him? He had the army behind him. Right. And yet he walked in there. He was such a Christian and such a gentleman. He said, this is, this is what we have fought for. And he laid down that power. And he stepped back. Yeah. And it was a group of men that came together. He could have been, he could have been, he could have been the king. Right. Sure. But you know what? He knew what, what, we, were, what we fought for. Right. And we wanted to have this great nation. And because of what he done, and what a great leader he was, that's the reason he became the first president that's of the United right. States. Yeah. And you go back and you read the things that he talked about. And you know what? They could care less. That's exactly right. Yeah. These men, these men that we started out, we had a we had a you know we had a debt when we got a when we got our independence. Sure. Do you know what it cost it cost us money? 
And do you know that the first men that came in this in this country, Alexander Hamilton and those, you know, they were the ones that were working on getting us out of debt. Right. And you know that was that was the one thing that we wanted to have in this nation when we right. started was ability to pay our own debt. Right. And you know what? We've gotten to the point we're down two hundred some odd years later. People are talking about our government defaulting on its loans. <laughs> is is this government going to be having enough money to pay its own bills? Bless it. You think about all these great men that have lived through time, all the things they've done, and what they have done, and all that they gave, the blood, sweat, and tears to come to this place and then see the kind of condition right. that we're in. Right. Right. Yeah. Why? Because we we walked away from our own principles. That's right. Yeah. right. And not only not only is it is a natural condi condition, it's a spiritual condition. You better believe Amen. that. Amen. Amen. Same difference. See, we we have walked away from our own principles. We had, we had a spirit, I mean, because you go back and look, all those men, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, all, the, all Thomas Jefferson, the different ones, and uh, even Ben Franklin. You know, I was reading some stuff about Ben Franklin. You know, he was a, he was a, pray, you know, he was a little weird, but he was a praying man. But you look and see what these men done and see the condition that we're in. But you know, God, you know, Brother Brown told us. God told him. You know, we turn, we turn, we turn God down. We, we, exactly we, we, right. didn't, we didn't want Him. Exactly. Right. So we're in the, we're in the condition that we're in. That's right. Sure. You know, Brother Ram said that the only, you know, the, everybody in the world would be insane. The whole world would be insane except for the bride. That's right. Amen. That's true. And that's that's all. That's all. That you have to be insane. Sure. There, there's you can't you can't be anything else but insane right. when you decide we're going we're going to uh, run this government. And we're going to spend more money than we can ever take in. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, we're still going to believe this thing will work out. Right. <laughs> and they said, well, you know, we're not going to run this train off the cliff. Listen, it's heading off the cliff, yeah, right. and it don't matter. Yeah, because guess what? The brake is broke. Right. Come on. Right. Yeah. That's right. But you see, you see how, you see, and who would believe this, con this, this country would have gotten this condition? That's right. Yeah. But it has. Right. And you know what? It's just it's just another sign to tell us it's coming to an end. Right. right. The only thing the only thing because a lot of these things it's just details. Right. It's just things happening, but we know what's going to take place right. in the end. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's just to get us ready. Right. Right. That's right. Amen. Because there's nothing there's nothing in this world that's going to be that's going to stand. Except for the word. Amen. That's right. That's right. He said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will That's not right. pass away. Right. You see, there's no other place to stand but on the rock. Right. Amen. That's right. And I'm so thankful that, that I have a place to stand. Amen. That's right. That we that we have this place that, that, that I know that I know my Redeemer lives. Amen. That's right. That I know that I have been birthed. Right. That I know Amen. that I have been sealed. Right. Because you know, that 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 is worth more to me than anything. Right, right. right. that's right. To know that, yeah. to have that assurance, that's yeah. that's the greatest thing in the right. world. Amen. But you know what? There's more. There's more than what we have now. Amen. Yeah. And the thing is, is, is for us to stand up and walk and claim what's ours. Come on. Right. Amen. Amen. You love him. Let's all stand. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad that I know where I'm going one of these days. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I must have a bigger head than everybody else in here. Well, it feels like it's squeezing the back of my head. I just moved it out and now I feel better. I must have bigger ears too or something. I'm squeezing my head. Bless it. Fifteen. Red book. Fifteen. And the redeemed to gather in. Amen. Amen. I am thinking of the rapture in the blessed home.
too here. I was reading this and verse 12 2 12 says for we now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit right. which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God right. he says which things also we speak not in the in the words which man's wisdom teacheth but which the Holy Ghost teacheth right. comparing spiritual things with spiritual Amen. Do you know what? And I, I was very interesting. Do you know what the word compare means? What? Compare doesn't mean uh, like we well, we would think of comparing apples and oranges. Right. Right. Looking at two different things. Right. Actually, it means to look at something, and in the Greek, it also means to combine. Right. And I was going to bring this up, and. And it really struck me. He says, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. You know the scripture that come to my mind? He said, prove all things. Right. Hold fast to that which is good. Right. Yeah. Amen. Right. Comparing spiritual things yep. with spiritual. It's not just comparing things, but holding on to that right. which is good. Amen. Which is, you, you see that it's true, right. but only says spiritual. These things are freely given to us. And he said, comparing. Mm -hmm. You look at it, you discern it, and then you hold on to it. Right. Because he said, line upon line, precept upon precept. Right. And it's all built together. Amen. Right. But I'm so glad that these things are given to us freely. Amen. Right. Amen. Glory. You know, we have to receive them. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Because it's not our fault right. if we don't receive right. them because they're freely given to us. Amen. Number two. Number two. Amen. As I journey through the land.
Appreciate the Lord tonight. Amen. 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 As we get ready to leave this evening, we'll just want to make sure we don't all hearts and minds clear before we go. Just remember, remember Sister Dale? I try. We know that the Lord takes care of all things. He's taking care of her too. All this time, every time she's had a problem, the Lord's always watched over. And just remember the different ones. And ones that'll be traveling. Right. This weekend. Y'all you know, pray for all them. All the cooks. The chefs. And all the campers and, and everybody. The bottle washers. And all the counselors. And all the ones that'll be there and all the ministers. Keep them in prayer. That's right. That all things will be done for His honor and glory. Amen. Amen. That's correct. Amen. That's so correct. as we go this evening, ask Brother Call if he doesn't mind, just dismiss us in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yes. Lord, to be in your house together. Yes. Thanks for the light precious day. Lord, we pray that you just let us continue to labor together, loving one another. Lord, bearing each other's weakness. But we all may be strong with the end. God, we thank you for your service tonight. Lord, you sit unto us and bring your word. Lord, that these words will find a place in our hearts. Lord, we will be strong with you. Lord, we know that there is none other but you, Lord, that can give us the desires in our hearts, Father. We just thank you for us so greatly. And wherever we are, let us remember one another. Lord Jesus, that you will be there to take us and to guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Dismissed. He prayed and he did not.